everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week I am featuring the Round We Go bundle. This is really a fun bundle. Um, there's a die here that um, makes creating paper rosettes really easy. Uh, these were really trendy a few years ago. I remember trying to make them and they were a little bit hard, um, but this die makes it really easy. It puts all those score lines in there for you. Uh, so also along with that are some fun other images and some great sentiments. Now for today's card, I'm also using the sketched butterfly bundle. I'm going to use the dies and one of the little butterfly stamps. All right. So this card is a, I guess a half card, you would say, um, you can see how it, it stands and, uh, the circle actually makes it so that it fits perfectly in one of our envelopes. Okay. So, uh, when you adhere that envelope or when you adhere that circle, you want to make sure you get it low enough so that it will fit in your regular envelope. And then on the inside, there's our stamping. Okay, well, let's make our rosette first. The first thing I want to recommend is that you get out your hot glue gun and your silicone mat. That will just make things so much easier. Now, I've already cut out two of the rosette pieces that I showed you from... Um, gorgeous grape and it's a little bit tedious but you want to take your time and you want to fold on every score line on both of them so i'll do that and then i'll show you how to adhere it together All right, once you have them accordion folded, there's an end on each piece that is shorter. We're gonna put some tear and tape on each of those pieces. And I'm gonna trim my tear and tape so that it um, matches exactly that piece. Okay, like that. And then we'll do the other one. Tear and tape uh, works really well here. It's the exact right width and it will make putting these together, it's uh, easy and it's very strong. All right, so peel off that backing, okay? And we're going to take the other end and I want you to notice that there is a pointy end and a round end. So you wanna match those up exactly how they should be like that, all right? Got a little bit of tape there. All right, once you have those pieces, we're gonna take this and we're going to adhere it end over end like this. So peel off that backing. And we're gonna put that piece over that one right there. All right, so now you have this ring. And I want you to see, I have two different ones here. This one has the scalloped edge on the outside and this one has the pointed edge on the outside. So decide which way you wanna make yours. I like the scalloped edge best. So I'm gonna take the pointed ends and push them to the inside and then there is your perfect little flower. Now this is where it gets tricky. So get your silicone mat. This is what I like to do take just a tiny bit of glue and I have cut out, if I can get it picked up, two of these from the, um, these are from the die set in the same color and I'm gonna fold this down on there. Takes a little bit of tweaking, if you will, and decide which side I think looks better. And we'll put a little bit of glue there and then we'll fold this down onto that, like that. Take a little bit of hot glue right there, careful with your fingers, and put that other one right there. Now you're gonna wanna let it sit for a while, okay? So I like to take a clear block and set it on there and we'll do the other part of our card. 
Now this card base is five and a half by five. And you're gonna, on the five inch side, score it at two and a half. And there's your little mini card. I have cut a piece of um, our Xenia Designer Series paper to, uh, let's see, uh, five and three eighths by two and three eighths. I have a free PDF on my blog that has the measurements and the supply list for you. So make sure you check that out. All right, glue that on. Now you wanna do your stamping here first because once you get this on here, you can't lay it down flat and it's hard to stamp. So stamp the inside before you attach your rosette. I'm gonna do uh, Lemon Lolly, some of these little starbursts, I guess is what they're called. And then I'm gonna take my gorgeous grape and I'm gonna stamp happy birthday right there. And then we'll get Highland Heather and we'll stamp a few of those butterflies to carry over our design from the front. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so now let's move that out of the way. We're also going to stamp the sentiment which says time to celebrate on, let's see, did I lose my little, nope, here they are, on a small nested essential rectangle. Okay, and it's in Lemon Lolly, there we go. Now I have also cut out a large circle. This is the largest spotlight on Nature Dive, cut it from Highland Heather, and I've got two of the uh, butterflies, a solid one, and then the, the more detailed one. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of glue right here, and we're gonna glue the center of that butterfly right on that glue. Now, I didn't put an adhesive sheet behind it because I wanna just glue it in the middle so that the wings can pop up like you see that they are right now. All right, kind of fold those up like that. All right, we're gonna cut a bow. Now, I gotta decide if I like the bow behind the butterfly or on the front of the butterfly. So I'll let you decide on yours. I think it looks good both ways. Why don't we try it this time behind the butterfly? This is some of our Lemon Lolly Baker's Twine. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger than the butterfly so it'll look like that. All right, and we can do just a little glue dot on the back. of our butterfly to adhere that. I don't know if I can get it to stick not to my fingernail. There we go. All right, there's that. All right, let's bring over our rosette again. We are going to need some hot glue. There we go. And I'm gonna adhere it just to the center right here. Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna put, let's do a dimensional for our butterfly. This card is gonna have a lot of dimension already, so it doesn't really matter if we add a little bit more. All right, there is our, there's our butterfly. Let's cut these a little bit. I really should get my better scissors, shouldn't I, for cutting this twine. All right, there we go. Now, bring back your card, and I like to set it here on the envelope so that I know exactly that I'm putting it in the right place. Okay, so I'm gonna set it down there. I'm gonna put two dimensionals, and then I'm gonna set this right here and make sure that I am below the top edge of my envelope. Okay. There we go. Now let's add our sentiment. We'll put one dimensional over in the corner. Let's put it on this side. Mm, I don't know. Maybe I like it better on this side. Well, we're going to need more dimensionals then. Let's put it right there. All right. Now, last but not least, I'm going to add just a couple of our 
lemon lolly dots. I think I'll do three, two on this side and one on that side. And there you go. Now, another thing you can do is take that envelope and carry over those butterflies onto your envelope. Wouldn't that be pretty? And there you go. All right, I hope you enjoyed this project. I have two other Round We Go projects over on my blog with um, videos, and I'll have two more the following week. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, and check them out. All right, everybody, have fun. Bye-bye.